What do you reckon? Yeah, pretty nice. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, nice colour as well. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the channel that can't be bothered to get a catchphrase. I have just uh, met Filippo, or Philip who's in front on the speed triple, same as mine. Um, and we are off for Bumble Blades' first proper road trip. Currently going across Marlow Bridge. And um, yeah, so we're off to Farnham, kind of Guildford area, for to meet up with Bumble Steve, brilliant guy that I kind of met on the internet, <laughs> sounds a bit dodgy, on the CBR 900 restoration forum on the Book of Faces. We're going to meet up with him because he lives. Uh, Gravesend area, and then uh, not quite sure, possibly, possibly off to Lulworth Cove. It's not going to be sunny today, but it's not going to rain. It's the most important thing. More than anything, Bubble Blades first, first road trip. So, apart from the annoying robotic voice. This is cal recalculating quite well, yeah? And, um, yeah. So far, I'm actually quite enjoying Kalimoto. As in, it's not annoying the ah on me like the last time I tried it. Right, we're just coming up Woking-wise, so close to London. And, um, what does it say? It says... 21 miles remaining. I've done 36 so far. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. That's alright. Do you know something? I thought it was you. <laughs> Felt the bang. <laughs> I thought you got into me. So my camera wasn't filming. But basically, yeah, I just got rear-ended by that lady. Um, luckily not fast. Didn't knock me off. And she only really hit the tyre. So she was apologetic. We checked we the bike over. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be any damage so well got a number plate anyway so yeah <laughs> good start oh rear ended <laughs> by a lead so Mr Kelly Moto says that we've got 14 miles remaining bikes going okay weird thing with the indicators at the beginning um <laughs> again and now they're fine, seems like when they're cold. And the left indicator, at the beginning, when it, started, when it eventually started working, the speedo went down with it in time, like, <laughs> like a drumstick. Hello. That is bizarre, bizarre. So that, yep, go down there, and that's where I go shooting. It's nice around here. It's raining. I, did, I mean, I checked the weather forecast today. Um, right, let's have a look. It says zero miles remaining. Okay. Um, there it is. There it is. Yeah, on the, there it is, yep. Yeah. Um, don't know. Let's go down. Um, Oh, there's, there's Steve. <laughs> Steve! <laughs> good, good, mate. 
It's shut. shut. No way, the calf's shut. <laughs> Guess what? It's shut. It's shut apparently. Does it open maybe at a certain time? Okay, so it's raining. The cafe shut. We didn't see that it was only open Mondays to Fridays. So Philip's going to lead, so we're going to try somewhere else. Cool. All good? So Steve, otherwise known as Bumble Steve, um, yeah, met him, uh, met him, sounds so man to man, doesn't it? On the uh, CVR 900 restoration forum. And the guy was basically at the same level with his um, second gen CVR 900 as I was on this. So, bits and pieces, you know, together chatting, swapping advice, crying together. And um, Diamond Geezer rode all the way from Gravesend to Aylesbury just to bring me a, a connector when my regulator rectifier failed. Brilliant guy. Still back there, yep. Oh, it doesn't, it looks great with the round headlights. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow and I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Uh, anyway, yes, it's it's kind of raining. It's kind of shitty. It's not too cold. I think it's about 15 degrees. So we're going to just go to this place called Roadhouse um, and see what that's like before then. Uh, probably, as I said, going on to Lulworth Clo Cove down by the coast. The bike is so far running well. Uh, touch wood. And I'm not even noticing anything on my wrist. My right wrist a little bit, for some reason. I must be crooked. And I think I've just got used to the pain in my neck. So it's gone from... Drizzle to rain. And now it's kind of... In between. Yes, there it is. Okay. It's a tiger. Right. I, I, I can 
feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm looking I'm gonna take the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit Shop so freezing, so cold, behold, frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart, I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a place in my mind starts feeling I don't face myself, I grind You're getting full English with my shirt I just love the feeling, no I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up 95 miles to go I'm up front, Steve's in the middle Philip's behind I'd set my Kelly Moto to super 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 twisty but I've since taken it back to winding because from past experience as Philip was telling me if you keep it super winding it will take you down dirt tracks <laughs> going through some nice roads so far I'm really starting to deal with the riding position now 70 miles so far today and um oh yeah it's the way you kind of sit in this bike that's so great some lovely houses around here. Some, some lovely houses everywhere, except the one I live in. <laughs> We're just going to check for petrol on the nav. So anyway, yes, uh, 15 miles to the next garage, uh, petrol garage, that's en route. Which is something you can do with Kalimoto, which is good. Um, obviously there are closer ones, but this is the one the closest en route. 15 miles brings us to about 110 miles on Steve, 100 miles on mine, and uh, we're looking at, because I, using my tachometer there, um, try to aim to fill up every 100 miles. Now we've always got a bit of room, wiggle room. It took us to a petrol garage that was like side of the road garage that closed about 15 years ago. Philip's stick it in Apple Maps and we're ignoring Kalimoto for a bit. <laughs> Someone sprayed over that. Um, which is about two miles away so I'm going to have... Oh that's nice, look at that. Anyway, what I'm trying to say in my flappy way <laughs> What's that? Kalimoto is now trying to reroute the other way, but we're, I'm trying to ignore it. And I don't know how to turn off the audio prompts for now. I right, finally got to petrol. Oh, there we go. You got the proper juice here. Yeah? Yeah. It's working now. <laughs> I've had it tuned as well, so it's even, I don't know. Is that it tuned? It's, it's, did, did it wrong though, it's slower than mine now. <laughs> so, after petrol, and a bit further, we are now in a beautiful place called the New Forest. Nice horses, two over there.
so he certainly couldn't resist. I was just thinking that we were picture. Well, there was one further up there, but there were too many cars there. But I thought, well, this looks alright. Don't you reckon that's like a little bit more common as colour? Just, just like every day, run of the mill, as opposed to. Well, that one, that one, I prefer that one. You what? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to see if we can find a northerner in its natural habitat. Uh. Right. Philip, Philip. We've spoken about this, about you removing your leathers before you have a shit. Remember? Huh? We spoke about this, about removing the leathers. Now, take them off and we'll dry them out. 46 remaining miles to destination. Donkeys. Oh, wow. Oh. Should have stopped here, a little bit further down. Never mind. Some cows. That's a lovely looking church, isn't it? Oh, blimey. Hello. So I've certainly been stuck in the miles up today. Wow, well, you know. Uh, 103. 120, 130, yeah, I'm over 150 miles, I think. And so we just passed into Dorset in 42 miles to go. For those watching the video, I've just explained to Philip that this is the best ride he's ever done in his life. And he has agreed. <laughs> I shall censor that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, airborne! Airborne! <laughs> what we got left now? Five miles remaining. 54 miles since we last filled up. Hello? Nothing to report except. And some of the best roads I've ridden on in ages. Kalimoto seems to be doing me well. Um, except, I wish there was some more different information over here like time of arrival that sort of thing but never mind I'm sure maybe there is just need to look in the menu all right turning left here it says one more remaining yep this is where I was uh, three weeks ago in there yep for that machine gun shoot for the Royal Hussars it can't be denied that that is a lovely quintessential English village. Okay. Ruined by the sound of Philip's exhaust. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like a postcard. There's lots of cars parked over there. So that's, I'm presuming that's something to do with where people park. What's that? I'm not sure. Where do you reckon we go? Where do you reckon we go to park? Should we keep trying down there for a bit? Should we go there, yeah? Brilliant, yeah. Okay. Alright. Bit of a fluff trying to pay, aren't we? <laughs> I'll download the app. So we parked, we're sitting here, we're gonna have a wander around, and um, that was some amazing roads coming up here. Steve's gone for a wee bit, Philip's gone in the fish and chip shop. He's oh. not that far from my parents. No, it's probably not a difference. 
Yeah. Next time we come, you're in, we do like something like South End or something. South End, I've yeah. been to South End since I was a kid. No, that's where uh, I can whiz through that. Too. Steve, what do you reckon? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Right, let's just inspect your work. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Disgusting! Uh, three hours to home, motorway. away. No fun stuff going back. Also, because Nobed over there has got a dark visor. But what a beautiful, beautiful place. Well, still knackered from climbing up that hill in on my bike gear, but what a day. Right out with, with Steve on his blade. Been planning it for months since we started talking about, you know, swapping ideas on how to restore our, our bikes. And so it's just been a great, great day all around. Yeah, Philip came along as well, which, you know, can't be perfect, but it's good. So, thanks a lot for coming along. If you got this far into the video, super thanks. Remember to like and subscribe and all that sort of youtube -y stuff. And I'll see you all soon. Bye. Cause I've been living life right like I